Now, hopefully you have your two pieces turned through. I should have said to be careful at the tip not to use anything too pointy to push that through and just let them come up, wiggle them um, as much as you like. Uh, if you did decide to do a zigzag, I hope you remembered maybe to change your foot. Uh, while I was up, if you have a little bit of lace or a little bit of a trim, you might like to add it. I just uh, glued that down, a little bit of glue, and machined across that. Just at the level, I used the, I could feel the facing from the other side. I just used that as my guide across that. Now we're ready to put the dress together. So you have a front and you have a back. And we're going to go right sides together. Okay. Now you're going to match the shoulder or the underarm seam here. Flip so that your two facings are together and pin those in place. The seam allowances, push them up into the, into the facing and if you need to just put a pin in those to hold them and pin down the length of the side seam of the dress. Sorry, I'm up so close to the camera there. Do the same on the other side. Now, easy just to just drop the shoulder straps into the inside of the dress and make it easier. And you have your two little underarm seams from the front and back matching again. Pin those in place just to help with the sewing. Remember you're using a shorter stitch length and that is just useful when you're doing small things. Now what you're going to do now is machine your quarter inch seam all the way down to the end on both sides. Okay and then you need to finish off that seam either with a zigzag or an overlock stitch, whatever you have on your machine, a zigzag is fine, about two and a half, three width, two and a half length. It's just to neaten the edge um, to, to stop it fraying. OK, so you can go ahead and do that. And when we come back, then we're just on the hem of the dress then. <laughs> 